Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to desolder electrical components from a circuit board. Don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com and subscribe to my social media pages such as Google+, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links are all included in the description below. Here I am working with an old doorbell, and as you can see, it does have many electronic components, which I'll be doing an example on. This procedure can be used for saving electronic components for later usage or replacing a faulty part. You must be extremely careful when desoldering or soldering components as you can overheat the circuit board, causing damage. It's good practice to wipe the area we are working on with rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip to remove any contaminants. For the most part, I'm able to use a desoldering iron with a built-in suction pump. A mechanical suction pump can also be used, which has a spring-loaded release and is used with a regular soldering iron. Either of these tools can be purchased at your local electronics retailer or online. They are not overly expensive and are very useful to have. The red rubber bulb is depressed before applying it to the circuit board. Once the solder melts, release the bulb and it will remove the solder. Now applying it to the circuit board. Here I'll be removing the wires which is directly connected to the speaker. Depress the bulb, heat up the connection. Once it's melted, release the bulb and then this will remove the solder. After that, depress the bulb in the container to dispose of any old solder. It's important to empty the desoldering tool when moving on to other components as this can squirt out hot melted solder on an area we don't want it to. It's best to place the tip on the center of the solder joint. You will see that the solder does liquefy, usually changing color slightly when it melts, and you will feel the soldering iron sink into the connection. Now desoldering a capacitor, again the same procedure. Depress the suction bulb, place it on the center of the soldered connection, wait a moment until it melts, release the bulb to suck away any of the solder and then empty the freshly removed solder. Now the resistor can be removed. Light pressure may be needed to remove the component, but do not force it as you can damage the component. If it's still slightly secured into place, reheat the connection, remove any solder that may be still present and try again. If that fails, try to remove the component when the joint is still hot. Here's an up close with a capacitor. Depending on the age of the solder that is used or what type, the connection may be very hard to melt. As mentioned earlier, excessively heating the board can cause damage, so you may need to add new solder to the connection. This will mix in the solder with the old and new, helping decrease the melting point and making it easier to clean up the connection. Using a soldering iron, apply a small amount of new solder to the connection. Now using the desoldering pump, remove the solder using the exact same procedure as before. Be sure to stay up to date with my latest videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you have any comments or questions please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.